Hi everybody, it's me, the Girl X, and I'm back again. I'm also known as Chino Artie. I am going to do a review on the, what do you call it, the emulator of the Null DC. They finally perfected these emulators. There were, I mean, for example, EPC, the PlayStation emulator, EPCI, whatever it's called, made by ZSNES, guys. Uh, they finally perfected the user-friendly plugins. Same thing with the Null DC. is more easier on... Uh, this emulator is more easier than before. <laughs> I'm testing in it right now. I mean, I got it all over my screen. I'm a big Dreamcast fan for a moment. Yeah, I'll press that button. Press start. <sighs> oh, okay. Uh, enough of distractions. At least you know I like women. <laughs> now, uh, comparing controller, I mean the... Now, Windows Live Gaming is basically proprietary using uh, Windows Controller. Which is the... The Logitech or the Xbox 360 controller direct plug-in. Now, as you can see right here, comparing the Dreamcast controller is almost identical. I mean, of course, I have an official one. Dreamcast controller is identical to the Xbox. Well, when you look at Dreamcast, it is not a first-generation Xbox, but the controller is identical to it because there was a Sega Saturn um, controller. It's a very round controller because it had the analog stick. But before an analog stick, there used to be a ball in the middle. You know, I remember the very first Xbox made by Mac. Macintosh was called the Pippin at Mark. Yeah. So it's almost identical, just missing an analog, and, and, and there's an analog uh, trigger in the back of the Dreamcast. And same thing as the Xbox 360, but it's missing. It, it has two more buttons. So there's more buttons on the 360 controller. So put that on the side. And I remember back in the days, uh, 360 was very, I mean, not 360. A Dreamcast controller was very known for its popular. Um, add-on. I don't know if I can get light right here. Okay, if you look at the controller in the middle right here, it has an LCD, and uh, people actually thought it was a Game Boy. People actually thought it was a Game Boy when it's like it's not a Game Boy, but kind of like identical to a Game Boy because it has two buttons, an A and B sleep button. Too bad they haven't have an emulator for this boy yet, but uh, uh, the battery's dead on this one, so I do have to change the C32 battery cell lithium ion, and you get basically these batteries are now worth a dollar, so um, that's what it runs off to. So that's the only thing I can still mimic them. Now, I'm going to be loading a game that's made uh, Virtual Fighter. Um, I, I, lo I like Virtual Fighter, and I'm also going to benchmark... Um, Ready to Rumble was actually a game that was specifically Dreamcast launch. Later on, it was released on PlayStation. I don't know why. So this is a user-friendly. Look at this. And it actually... The 3D games, it's actually widescreen. The game enables widescreen. Look at that. Full, uh, full widescreen. No stretch. It actually fully unlocks the full aspect. They call it Neom. Ah, they got funny names for this. Ah. Anyways, let it load. I'm gonna find screwdriver. Look at that. Full widescreen. Unbelievable. Full speed. This emulator not just uses less resources. It's also, um, what can I say about this emulator? Uh, I guess it's dropped. This emulator runs off only on a Pentium 4. I actually benchmarked it on a Pentium 3 with a Voodoo graphics card, and it runs very fast. Yeah, forgive it loading like that, because... The reason why it's loading like that, uh, it's making that little lag, is because I'm running it directly uh, ISO on a DVD. So if I had it digitally installed, it would not make a little lag. So, but it's purely running on a DVD drive. I mean, an ISO, not like not uh, the game on a GD-ROM. It's running on an ISO. Uh, so I'm loading it like as a file on a on, on a DVD. So. When you look at Sub Zero. And the new Mortal Kombat Legacy kind of looks identical to him. Now, the only thing is the corners, when it's a 2D graphics, it, it kind of sledges right here. But when it goes back to 3D mode, unbelievable, beautiful. It goes full widescreen. Fight one, ready, go! See? Full speed. And the controls is exactly like Dreamcast. The rumble packs do work on it, so it, it, 
I don't know why I keep calling it Rumble Pack, but or the dual. I mean, now it's time for me to benchmark Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat Gold was never, ever, ever released in any other system. On um, it was only specifically a Dreamcast launch, starring. I kid you not, of course, it just has a few more characters, and of course it features uh, Cyrax. And the only thing I always have to do is I have to port my Xbox 360 controller. That's the only thing. But everything else is running perfect. So Mortal Kombat, let's load it up. Gold. I actually have a beta version of Mortal Kombat Gold on the PS1. And I actually... Somebody commented saying it does not exist. Well, I proved it right there in the video. Damn. Alright. And, um... The only thing is it only has one character, and it was a beta, so it was given to me a long time ago. So, yeah, now I'm going to run Mortal Kombat 4 in the full widescreen angle view, how it's meant to be played. The reason why, if you see, look, I'm laying, using my soda as a, as a tripod. <laughs> so, oh, hopefully it doesn't fall in there. But hey, let's see what happens. As you can see, there's a border in left and right, but when the 2D image comes in, it sludges right here, like I said earlier. Yonicom developed limited entertainment software games. Electronic fun for everyone. I wanna. Okay, I'm, I know. Mm -hmm. Making it very easy for me. Like I guess I'm running it directly ISO on the DVD image. Now, look at this. It's 2D uh, on the screens. I'm a Johnny Cage fan. Look at that. It's full white. It's just that certain, because since this background is 2D, it makes that scary. <laughs> so, this part is 3D, so it's running fluent. So now, when it goes on a full 3D scale, you're going to see it. Look at that. You see the whole image. The uh, When you're talking about widescreen, this is the best way to play it. So, certain games... We'll make that slur if it's a 2D image. Mortal Kombat. Go! <laughs> ah! Alright, but anyways. Um, and, the only, and, and they have an emulator for this boy. So. Ah, uh, visual memory. And oh. Uh, no game save. So, I don't know. It's not really a Game Boy. Uh, it's, it, the monochrome is very boxy. So, just to say. Hey, you know, it's not really much, so that's all I can say. Let me put this back. It's kind of dark here. Ugh, I don't know. All right, uh, I'm just making this messed up video. Oh, okay, the video is about to end because I always make a 10-minute mark video. And you know what I came across in a swap meet? Another swap meet. I found a box. The guy's like, Toro barato, toro barato. Toro la cal entra un dollar, un dollar, un dollar. Pásale, pásale. Okay, yeah, how much is in this box? One dollar. I came across a box full of PDAs. Yes, Palm One for one dollar. Yeah, it's a, an old school iPad. Not really a pad, but it's a Palm. I can't, look at this. They all work. Uh, they all work. I just, the only thing I didn't have a charger until I had a plug. Let me plug this one, see if it works. One dollar. One dollar, one dollar, one dollar. See, one dollar. Yeah. So only for one dollar. Well, I thank you guys for watching. Um, I'm gonna be making more reviews. I'm gonna be making the reviews of the app gear available now in the local dollar store. It's actually fun. The worst app gear I, is the ray gun, but the game was fun. It's just this is kind of useless. You'll see what I'm talking about when I make a review. And this one is fun. I love this one. This one kind of reminds me of. I'm, I'm gonna make a good jailbreak. And I want to be Pokemon. Thank you for watching, and I really thank you guys saying I'm back, because I'll be back. <laughs>